Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to install and set up ExpressVPN. So in this tutorial, I'll be guiding you through setting up ExpressVPN on both a computer and mobile device to give you a better understanding of whether or not it's the right VPN service for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point throughout this video, you want to give ExpressVPN a try, you'll find a useful link available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. So to get things started, first open your preferred browser and type in expressvpn.com to be directed to the ExpressVPN homepage where you'll click on Get ExpressVPN. Now they offer three different plans, um, a one month plan, six months, and a 12 month plan. So choose the plan that's most convenient for you. And after entering your email address, select your preferred method of payment. So ExpressVPN offers a variety of options, including credit cards, PayPal, Bitcoin, and international payments such as Alipay and UnionPay. All right, so when that's done, you'll be redirected back to ExpressVPN's website, where you'll look for a string of numbers and letters highlighted in yellow, which is your activation code. Now, it's important to copy this code before processing to download the software, and I'll explain why in a bit. Now, the software is a small file, and once it's downloaded, it's time to install it. Installing ExpressVPN software is a fast process, taking just about 30 seconds or so. The whole setup process is simple and straightforward, and it can be done in a matter of minutes. Now, after the installation, input the activation code that you copied earlier, and the software will be fully operational. And with that being said, the computer setup for ExpressVPN is done, and you can now check out the software and its features. Now, you can start by selecting a location to view the available servers. ExpressVPN offers recommended servers as well as the option to choose by region or specific server name and the connection process only takes a few seconds. Now to disconnect, you can either click the disconnected button or go to the top right corner and click disconnect. So ExpressVPN also offers a comprehensive speed test that allows you to test the speed of all their servers. The test includes download speed, latency, and speed index where higher numbers indicate better servers. But keep in mind that the test takes a significant amount of time, about five minutes or so. Additionally, ExpressVPN lets you customize the preferences such as launching on setup, connecting to the last used location, um, switching accounts, and choosing the type of protocol you want. The advanced preferences also give you the option to not send any information to ExpressVPN, even anonymously. Now, let's move on to the mobile setup. Now, the first step is accessing your online account is through ExpressVPN on your phone. Now, to find the password, open your phone and go to the App Store and search for ExpressVPN, which should be the first option that appears. The app is small and won't take long to download. Once it's downloaded, open the app, sign up with your email address, and use the password provided in your online account instead of an activation code. Now, one of the main advantages of using ExpressVPN is that it lets you download a single configuration for all servers, unlike other VPN apps that require individual configurations for each server. Now, this makes switching between servers, such as between San Francisco and Madrid, a much simpler process. The ExpressVPN app is also very user-friendly um, with a clear and easy to follow tutorial. Now to connect to a specific server, all you need to do is select it from the list of available options. Also, you don't have to go into your device's settings to make connections, which is not typical for VPNs. The Express VPN app offers a variety of settings, including the option to auto reconnect and change the VPN protocols, as well as the ability to choose whether or not to share diagnostic data. It's also easy to switch between servers, um, for example, switching from Dallas to Paris, France with just a few clicks. So overall, the app is very user friendly and very easy to navigate through. And it presents its features in an organized and simplified manner that anyone can use without any issues. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find a link to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And yeah, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions as I love getting to direct with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you guys in our future videos.